to the program where this episode is brewski number 11 of the 12 brewskis of Christmas here on the channel. This one is coming from Lexington. Actually, it's called Lexington Brewing and Distillery Company out of Lexington, Kentucky there. This here is their bourbon barrel aged peppermint porter. So peppermint porter. That sounds interesting right there, especially a barrel aged, barrel aged peppermint porter. That, uh, that sounds pretty good. Now, uh, barrel aged beers really aren't my thing. I'm, that's just one of the things I'm not hugely into. Uh, but the reason I picked this up is the peppermint that actually intrigued me there. And I was able to actually get this in a six pack, I believe, or in singles, believe it or not, at Kroger. So Kroger only actually sells these, the one near me, in six packs. However, they were all sticky. I believe they just had like some broken bottles or something and they just do it with their, uh, with their singles to try to, you know, salvage some cells or something. And that benefits me because I am looking forward to this one right here. So still a little sticky. I didn't wipe it off uh, well enough. I probably should have wiped it off a little bit better. But uh, just the, uh, like the horse head uh, cap on this thing here. You see their logo right there. And it's just got a nice, it's hard to see. I'm sure you, I've already ran the close up, but there is like Christmas scenery and stuff inside there, which pretty cool makes it Christmassy and we're gonna use the Christmas story glass here tonight let's crack this thing open and uh, see what it's all about so hopefully you've been liking uh, liking what you've been seeing here this year on the uh, the 12 brewskis of Christmas has a couple of really good ones uh, you know a couple of swings and misses a couple of doubles triples really a home run all right so we're gonna set that there with mr grinch so uh it looks pretty dark actually lots of times i get this ambery tint on these porters uh i mean there is a slight amberiness to it as i hold it up to the light but it's much darker uh than i was expecting it to be uh we got about a finger of just a tan uh, head up on top of it. It's not real frothy or cream or anything like that. Uh, lots of fisheye bubbles popping away in there. Let's see if we can stir something up. One thing I will tell you is I'm already getting a lot of like that peppermint uh, mintiness floating around here in the air, in the, uh, right here in the room. So let's get a nose on this thing. Yeah, tons of peppermint. But it's got a, um, you know what it, the Andes mints. This smells like the Andes mints. Those are the best type of little chocolate mints. That's exactly what this smells like. It smells like Andes mints. A um, little bit of chocolate. I don't even know if they're supposed to be chocolate. I get a little bit of chocolate in here. Lots of mint. Roastiness. It's 8.2% alcohol by volume. I don't get any hints of the... Uh, of the uh, um, alcohol, the ABV in this thing. So what typically would worry me a little bit is um, peppermint can be like crazy strong. It can be overdone quickly. There's a lot of peppermint uh, in this here nose. Uh, so it does make me think it could be a little crazy on the peppermint. But on the flip side of that, like I said, it smells like Andy's mints and that makes me want to get a drink on this thing so cheers that barrel age is definitely coming through not as crazy um like i said earlier barrel age typically not you know not my thing but i can get it i, I get the that barrel the oak the, that that flavor to it But the addition of this peppermint really offsets that well for me. Get a nice chocolate uh, roastiness to it as well. Much more, I get, I get much more chocolate, chocolate in this thing than uh, 
that I was anticipating. A little bit of a, a cocoa-y. Um, now, this is actually very good. Very, very good. Um, in fact, uh, just not going to quick score. I'm going to give it four out of five. It is good. Full body mouth fill. You just kind of coach the mouth. Um, front of the palate, tip of the palate, all the way back. Just a nice coating. The mint chocolate up front. As it comes through, it really does give off a good, you know, just a good chocolatey mint vibe. Chocolatey peppermint vibe. You know, there's there's that feel or that that taste of the uh, you know the barrel aged uh, the bourbon barrel the, the oak the oak um, aging and uh, oak barrels, but there's no there's no lingering alcohol effect or anything like that on the back end of it. it you know what? It, it's kind of easy drinking, really. You know, for what it is for a, a bourbon barrel aged peppermint porter that's a mouthful there's a lot going on there it's actually very easy drinking yeah you've had this before uh, let me know what you think about it this is and i've seen other offerings from um lexington um brewer and distillery around the area uh but a lot of bourbon barrel aged stuff and that's just not my thing really uh but the peppermint like i said Hook, line, and sinker on this one right here. Well worth the pickup as well. Anyhow, like, subscribe, comment, check me out on social media. Hit the no notification bell down there. And you had this before? Let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching.